of path to test with or to make things clear so remember also as much as uh, you try to make scripts and you try to script as much you will be professional anyway let's start by logical operation operators sorry operators so basically logical operators are and or ah or yeah or and or and not those are those are the keywords uh, and also keywords cannot be variable name yeah keywords we have a uh, lot of keywords and every episode we learn about uh, more keywords we have function and for uh, nor uh, there is a lot uh, yeah so let me explain first of all and and uh, if you give if you give a and b like that a and b if if a is true if a or a exists or or a is 5 or a is 5 it will return a if otherwise it will return b so let me explain more 5 and 3 it will return 5 uh, like uh, falls and 2 this will return false you know and so on and uh, this will return 3 sorry anyway we can test that we can test that this is simply we can do variable like that name it x and we can output chat box x yeah we start my script we yeah it's give 3 so it will give 3 and uh, false and 5 it will return false nil and high it will return uh, nil so those are very important things also we can use them in condition and also we can make uh, condition using them like if a and b then well i would cover conditions and uh, and uh, control operations in the next episode so let's go ahead to or or true or false we'll give true true five or two we give five so yeah, uh, if the first uh, exists, so it will return. Uh, it will return it. If it does not exist, it will return the second. Otherwise, uh, we can test that also. X, x equal. We do variable x equal five or two. Can test it. Check. Pretty much, it's five. Also, try to expect, try to uh, expect. What are you waiting from your code? And yeah, it's five, so it will output the first one. So this is basically or. Uh, to to give a good understand, A or B or C, if A exists then all this is true if a or b or c exist then all of this will be true no condition of course if you make condition and you said a or b or c if any one of a or b or c exists it, it will be true uh, and a and b and c if any of those does not exist it will return false if any of those does not exist a or b or a and b and c if b does not exist and a and c exist for example it will return false and uh, the condition will be false if you make condition and uh, if a 
does not exist and BC exists, it will return false. Any if any one of those are does not exist, it will return false. If both of those three of the three A the three A B and C exist, it will return true. Yeah. So A or and uh, and they are not the same. So let's go ahead to not to not not basically bool. I will create a boolean here, and it will be true. It will be true to a string bool. So to string is to convert that true to that true from uh, boolean to string. So to string to convert anything number boolean anything to you want user data to a uh, string. If you don't do to string and try to output just a boolean, it will give an error or warning pretty much. It said true. So let's try to not bool to equal not bool. It will it will verse that to false. Bool two. It will be false. So uh, not will will false, yeah. So not will convert true to false and false to true. Yeah, and vice versa. So true, if you have true, not true, it will be false. Not false, it will be true, and so on. Let's go ahead to relational operators. Bigger, lower, bigger or equal, lower or equal, and equal, and not equal. Yeah, all of those are relational operators. I will explain all of those. Don't worry about that. But uh, pretty much we need uh, anyway. So x equal five six. It will be true. X uh, to string because it will return uh, boolean. So if if five is lower than six, it will return true. He said, yeah, that's real, 5 is lower than 6, and it will output true. If if not, it will output false, and in our case it will be true. Uh, I will not test that, because it's easy. You you can try, uh, try that uh, alone. 7, 3. Let me inverse that. This is true too. So this is lower, and this is bigger. If I try that, it will be false. This is false. So uh, pretty much, bigger, lower, bigger or equal, lower or equal will be used just for numbers. Just for numbers. Just for numbers. Numbers. Uh, anyway, that no, that will be that like that. Yeah, uh, just for numbers and those two, you can use it in any anything else, string, uh, booleans, anything else. So yeah, this is pretty much equal is the same. Pr is pretty much the same. This uh, is still true and this is still true. Oh, this is false. But this is this one here is true. This is true. And uh, C equal Oh no. Yeah, this is true. Anyway, so let's explain this and this. Double equal sign means x, for example, x equal 5, y equal 5. To check if x equal 5, we set x double equal sign and y. We can make a condition. So this is the return boolean. It will be true because 5 equal 5, x equal y. If we said like that, it will be false. So if you have a string to we have to uh, change x to h2 so this is true this is true anyway 
you you can try with booleans, tables, anything else, it will work fine. And uh, this not equal x equal five, y equal three, x equal is not equal to y. This is true. So to check if two strings, numbers, or functions, whatever, are equal or not, we, we should use that. Can try to leave like that. Well, let me output that. Let me create a variable here. It's about v output shared box. Also used to string b. Also, you to convert anything to number, use to number. To number like that. Uh, to number, wait a minute. To number like that. Convert anything or string to number or anything else is that. Yeah, that is it. True. It said true. Uh, so that is it. True. True. If we change that to h, it will be false. And if we change that to equal, double equal sign, it will be true. Anyway, I think that is it at the moment for this episode. And uh, I'm gonna see you in the next episode. Uh, do not forget to do subscribe if you haven't yet. Do like and post a comment below if you have any question. And uh, yeah, see you next time.